Yep, yep, that is a power line. That's right. Anyone out there with sharp eyes might already have seen that it's a power line. Anyone who's blind probably already also seen that that is a power line. But yeah, it's a power line. The drones of power lines don't go. But we're getting way, way ahead of ourselves here. Let's roll it back. Let's find out how we ended up in this mess in the first place. Well, it all started with an idea. Let's go on a camping trip, said some idiot. So we did. And this is us heading from Alusk to Moy to do some camping. And we were psyched. We were ready to go. And when we got there, we realized my drone wouldn't reach the campsite. That was a problem. So we bounced in the car. We headed to another car park that was pretty much right beside the campsite and fired the drone up just to make sure there was room and uh, it wasn't all taken up by other tents. Campsite was empty, woohoo! So we had to get the drone back and then bounce back into the car, fire around to the other car park to meet the other lads and we can get the kayaks loaded up and we can finally set off on our journey. And look at my kayak, like how much crap do you need for four people for one night? But that's what we've got, so that's what we're doing. We'll see what the boys are at here. I can carry that down to me. Oh, Scott's in the water already, bored waiting on us, so it was Ryan. You give me a hand up to there and we'll just pass it over. Are you serious? You're a fucking weight, dickhead. Do you want to go first or what are you going to do? I have the front, it makes more sense. Because I, I can't, no, not. Uh, go up there, that's where I told you to go. My god, man, come on, now. focus. Why my You don't have bear's feet. Uh, no, 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 just right into the water there. Keep going. Uh, yeah, uh, no. uh, just put the water in. Yeah, put it in. Yeah. Perfect. That's a match. You alright? Is it slippy in there? Yeah. Uh, there we go. We're in. I'm taking on a lot of water here. Not even two, even another one. It's been a long time, but this is a proper one. So, we're right here kayaking in the River Blackwater. And, sorry, just listening to maybe it's a really fit there because we didn't wait on them, but there's fishermen there, so we're really calm. Let's um, take it off, there we go, nothing jubbly. And, uh, yeah, we're going to sail out to a campsite that we're going to camp overnight in, so, yeehaw! Um, so, yeah, stop wasting more time, let's go. Ahead of us lay 2.61 miles of treacherous white water. Nah, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's a really chill river, it was pretty lazy, um, and... On the way out, we had the wind behind us, and we were going with the flow of the river. So, to be honest, this was going to be wee buns. This was going to be no bother at all. Easy peasy. I mean, like, it's four grown men kayaking up a river to a campsite. What could possibly go wrong? What's wrong? Right. I say we just fucking go as far as we can until it gets too bad where you're not comfortable with it. We'll pull over, we'll try and pump it up. Once we get to the site, we can try and patch it. Do you have another patch kit? Or Scott, do you have glue? I have glue. Okay, right, okay. Until I'm not comfortable with it. I wasn't comfortable with it as soon as we get in. I wasn't comfortable with my mollusk. Like, all you had to do was just trust him. I didn't trust him, I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't think it was going to happen. Well boys, we've done it, we've made it, we're here. Everyone's alive, Ryan might not be for much longer, but we're here. We're on a river, it's got black water, somewhere a mile in the 1.8 miles that way is a campsite that we might make it to. Well, we'll see. Hey, so yeah, you maybe can't see me probably right now because the camera's a wee bit cracked on the front. It's my old phone I'm using to film this, so... But yeah, here we are, River Blackwater, on the river. We're heading towards... Copney Campsite, I think, which is like a kayak-only campsite, which is pretty cool. Probably about 1.6 miles left on the journey. Ooh. Wrong, 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 wrong. There was about 2.4 miles left. I didn't even know how long this was to begin with. But I really am an amateur, like... And yeah, being such an amateur, 
This gave all of us such false confidence. Right now, these moments you're watching, we're thinking, <laughs> this is just a wee dawdle up around the corner here. No bother, we must be at least halfway there. Ah, oh, idiots. Not even close. We have literally, like, think about where we started. We've come around like one, maybe two corners. Where? That's Scott. Oh, yeah. Idiot. I wish I was Scott right now. Ryan trying to set up a seal I'm here. I'm like fucking trying to keep alive. I'm really like, this is how it should be. Oh no! Oh no, Scott's got a belt in radio. He's having the best time. Four men, three and a half kayaks, a campsite, one murder, one mystery. Join us this evening as we delve into the Blackwater Trials. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 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 let's pump it up here. Yeah, good man. Scott, tune it in to pump it up, please. Pump, pump, pump it up. Oh, we, we were completely different pages there. I get you in first. So you're ready to mirror me in. Well, I can't do it by myself. Oh my god. <laughs> like one tenth left for a trip. Actually? Yeah. Sweet. Jesus, man. Well, that's right. the bridge we left, actually. Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, my Is it actually Scud? Shut up. Uh, Is it actually? Yeah. You're joking me. So how far have we got to go? Are we going to the, the company campsite? Yeah. We've got fucking miles to go. Actually. We need to hurry the fuck up. Yeah, we've got fucking miles to go here, boys, apparently. We didn't go to the wrong place. No, hold on, wait, because he might end up in the water here. James, you're going to have a real hard time getting in from there too, mate. I think if you can keep going up, Saver's a better one. Something closer to the ground. Two hours later. Well, he does fucking pimp in there. Although the name's very fitting, isn't it? Literally, where's the pump? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Too fast, slow down, slow down! I don't know any more catchphrases, Skippy Bing! So at this point, obviously, we just found out that we were just over one tenth of the way through the journey, and this was a bit of a shocker to everybody because at this stage, my arms were wrecked, and every I think everyone's arms were just wrecked. James is high; I could have floated one tenth of the way there, which means. If it stays on that far, we would have to stop 10 times before we get there to be in famous kayak. But yeah, at this stage, we just put the heads down and pressed on, tried to cover as much ground as we could. Yeah. Oh. What? That's what I was saying. Yeah, but yeah, I'm No, I'm really nearly sure this is the way, like. Because if you go right, you're going the opposite direction of where the camp is. Woohoo, 
just over halfway. No, 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 no. We were two tenths of the way. We had we had eight tenths of the way to go. Alright. Yeah. What's this got to do with me? That was the right car park. What are you talking about? Oh, this guy, like. Uh, no, this, this is this is Coney Island. Um, except we're not really six tenths of the way there. We're about minus four tenths of the way there. I'm just picking up this bit here as I go through. Oh wait, here my tent can snag on that. Right, just around this corner, boys, the bridge. It is, James. Keep the faith. Yeah, just 40 miles to go from the bridge. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Just two miles, like it is a bit of a journey. What? Bollocks, we have. Uh -huh. We haven't now. 1.36. See? See, just made that up. See? So easy to find it, it's full of shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, watching the dead battery, I that one. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a wee bit of battery in there, to be fair. But, uh, <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Is that guy? <laughs> I'm done like a lead balloon run. <laughs> <laughs> what? Seriously? No. Whoa! See that? In the water? The water? I think I got the camera. Oh my god, boys! I think I think I see it. I see it. No, that's a bridge, baby. I swear to God, there was tears in my eyes when I saw that bridge. I know we've squeezed this into like less than 13 minutes, but like, ah, oh, that took so damn long. Honestly, my arms hated me. They still hate me. Right, so listen, if you've ever wondered, like, do I get an inflatable or do I get a hard bottom or some people get inflatables, so as you've seen James pumping his up a million times earlier, and some people are Scott, who just, you know, going inflatables in crazy places that... Got a fishing rod here with a hook swinging. Oh shit, right, okay, let me get out of your way then. So to give you a quick bit of backstory, the four of us in this video have been friends for years, like at least most of us like a decade basically between all four of us um, and something we're really used to as a group um, is waiting on James and what we're doing here while you're just watching clips of us flipping back and forward at the bridge is because once again we're waiting on James yep. to be fair he's inflating this kayak which is kind of essential but yep waiting on James a few moments later oh I think this is actually it all joking aside You, you take your time. No worries, take my time. So yeah, it was a trek. I mean, like I know I said a few minutes ago about how this was, you know, white white waters, and you know, it wasn't. It was very easy paddling, but it was still 2.61 miles for four people who don't really exercise. So, woo, hard going. But yeah, here we are. We made it. Now let me tell you about Ryan's spectacular chair. Yeah, this one. My goodness, man, when we all talked about getting chairs, initially some of us weren't going to get chairs, Ryan was adamant. I need a chair, I'm going to get the best damn chair money you can buy because my back is made of cardboard and if it gets wet, it will fold. So Ryan bought this, which was 
horrendous. Like, it fell over, I think I only caught it twice or three times on camera, unfortunately, but it fell over 500 times at least. Horrendous. So while Ryan wrestled with his chair, Scott put together this fire for the campsite. Because Scott doesn't mess about. Scott's an operator. There was four people over trying to put that tent up. And I kept saying it's not pumped up enough. And they were saying the opposite. They were like, oh no, it's not pumped up enough. It's pumped up too, too much. much. They were like, oh no, because look, that's what's making a point. Oh, Mate, it looks slick, but you are literally that's sleeping it. beside the shitter. safety. Camp is set up, now we can sit back and relax, and you're privileged enough to be able to watch the meeting of such great minds. He's <laughs> 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 sounding like one of those wee yellow things you turn upside down. <laughs> 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 It probably landed in a pile of shade over there. Right? I can't breathe. Like, what what fly? Oh, you couldn't get a more straight answer, could you? Like, what are you doing, man? It's just a fly. Oh, oh, well. oh, oh, I oh, oh my god. Do you know why that happened? Because you're a shark, you falling over. That's notorious. That's what flies look for. People with weak chairs. Where did you get your from here? Weak, weak chair. Weak Website.com. Yep. Amazon. I didn't care, that's not fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you're going to read like No, I didn't drink. I thought, that's going to hide back. That's I can't cool. believe that I thought I didn't need you. I know, I was the same. I was just going to sit on the ground. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Ryan's going to turn into fly. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's going to turn into a fucking fly. Yeah, that's a Jeff Goldblum, isn't it? Oh, like, oh Jeff's on one. Terry! Terry! Oh, God, I'm laughing at this. Is that it, Scott? <laughs> you can be safe in there. Hey! You take it off and we're all flies. Scott, did you bring that mattress? No. <laughs> really? Turns out it's a box full of rooters, Terry. Fuck off, is it actually? <laughs> you were close though, Scott, you were close. <laughs> I'm not I opened it up thinking, alright, I'll get a pop us up and it was a box full of rooters. He's your brother, anyway. And this was phenomenal. You know what it was. Stephen King, James, you can't deny. It's Stephen King, not. <laughs> oh God, yes. No, yes. Okay, I think it's, it's been long enough. Flies. I think I'm ready to. I admit already know that it's not. That yeah. James, I don't think it was that good. Damn. I think it was better than that good. I think I would go as far as to say it is the greatest film of all time. We it is. Have you seen All Quiet in the Western Front? Not yeah, one monster. In it? That there's a, a TV show? Not one. After experiencing and delect that would have made some of the great minds of history jealous, we decided to pack it in and just eat some food. So we lit the barbecue at this point and Chef James decided to get to work. However, Ryan wasn't ready to give up the intellectual conversation. He'd done everything he could to keep it running. I enjoy camping. This is great. I should pick up the lips, James. Chef James, look at him. I'll take the video with it. You want to see my ribs? Uh, oh man, look at that. Good. Look at the sizzle. I obviously yep, meant listen to the sizzle, but look at it as well. We cooked about half the food on this barbecue and my god, it was absolutely incredible. I don't know if it was just because we hadn't ate since that morning, because we'd kayaked to this point, or because we'd primitively cooked outdoors on a fire. It just tasted phenomenal, it was incredible, but we decided to keep the other half of the meat just in case we were hungry later on we wanted to maybe cook it over the actual open fire. At this point we just shot the drone into the air, chilled out after a grub, talked a load of crap again, played a bit of football and uh, yeah, just waited on night time to come at this stage.
Terry. We're going to need more wood. That's all I heard. That's all everyone heard. But do you know why he said that? Because we needed more wood. And this here is Scott tearing away like a champion, pulling this small tree, large tree, probably large tree out. Yeah, it rained, and we shot the drone up, got some footage of this rainbow, which was pretty cool. Had a look around some more with the drone, and then got hungry again, because we're humans. So we decided we'd cook some steaks. Uh, we pulled the grit, the great, 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 off the barbecue, and we stuck it on top of the fire using a couple of bits of wood, and we bucked our steaks on there. And let me tell you, boys, these steaks... We're a straight up 8 out of 10. Hands down, no questions, 8 out of 10. Can I just let more we touch the salt maybe? Yep, I think you're right. Where is the salt? Honestly, we all kind of felt the way Ryan looks here after eating stuffed, too much food in too short a space of time. But at that stage, it was pretty much ready to get dark, and it did get dark. Once it got dark, we all just kind of kicked around the campfire and told some stories and talked some more and drank some coffee, and it was great. Um, yeah, really good. Uh, also, there was a ton of bats up above us, but it was really hard to get footage of them, so uh, yeah, didn't get any of that, unfortunately, but that was an experience. So Ryan, what do you think about camping? Ryan, Ryan, what do you think about camping, Ryan? Here, Ryan, 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 what do you think about, Ryan? Uh, what? He says he likes it. Seven. Seven, he likes seven out of 10? Seven. And honestly, that was it. Like. It was night time, the fire had kind of burnt out, it was like 2 a.m. at this point, we were ready to go to bed. No crazy stories, no bear attacks, obviously. Uh, yeah, that was it, until the next morning. Which, by the way, was an absolute spectacle. We all woke up with the same thought in our head. Why the fuck did we do this? No. If there's a landing, why is it raining? Well, I think what happens is cold pressure moves across and meets hot fronts. And then what you end up with is with this like downward pressure that creates this precipitation in the air. Shut the fuck up. Shut the front door. Shut the front door, you little fuck. So, yes, good morning. Now, uh, I don't know where the guy is with the Starbucks. I've been waiting, but he's still not here. And um, I don't know. Am I meant to get my own coffee? Uh, you know what? I really am not impressed with this. I'm setting the slightest, to be honest. We were leaving a review in with him on Google and let me know. Why did we do this? Hello, Ryan? Hiya Ryan! Hello Ryan! <laughs> Why the fuck did we camp? Scott had to take off a bit early so he packed his kayak up, loaded up and got ready to head off to his car.
Which brings us back to where we started. The power line. Power lines and drones don't mix, as you're about to witness. Yep, there she goes. Look just how close we were to the water. Now obviously, me playing this back in slow-mo, you can see that it lands in a field. You can see the grass flying up. I think that's even a blade there, maybe. Well, at that point I panicked. This is in slow-mo, but watching it in real time, I wasn't even really watching the screen. I was running about like a headless chicken going, ah, 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 my drone! Uh, so yeah, I had to trek along the side of the hedge. I couldn't just get access to the field, so I literally had to go along the riverbank, which was like raised up maybe five or six feet on that side from the water and was really thin and really weak. So uh, all, the, all the fence that ran alongside it was barbed wire. So I had to bring a couple of towels and like lash them over, cut my way through all them hedges. And eventually I found the drone. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. A uh, little bit of initial damage, like impact damage and the battery was half hanging out of it when I found it, but it does still fly. So woohoo, good news. Long story short, at this stage, two of us took the journey on our own back to get the van uh, with no gear. We parked at the closer car park, we packed the gear up into the van, just like here, and we shot off and we went home. And that was it. Great success. Nobody died. Everybody lived. We all had a great time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.